You know, these Jesuits are terrorists. They need to go. They are losing in court with my men. And part of Brent's defense is that he's not a snobby, rich celebrity like his clone and Lauren McBride. And he drove taxi cabs in New York as a struggling actor before he became famous. So he relates to people, to people like me who have talent but not fame. Combine this with the fact that I won or placed high in a Miss Universe pageant. Nobody believes the story from the Jesuits that my men are playboys and only toy with me as a mentally ill woman in order to keep up their playboy lifestyle without consequences. My men are absolutely committed to me and think I'm the most gorgeous woman in the universe and that Jesuits have targeted them with rapes and Jesuit stalker women like Lori McBride, Camilla Alves, Morgan Brown, etc. for this reason. The Jesuits are losing and they are furious. This Istanbul airport attack is obviously a Jesuit statement over my Miss Universe win and their loss in court. Jesuits need to burn in hell for this. You know, it's take a look at this obvious Photoshop at Lori McBride's IMDb page. Look at the legs. Lori McBride must really have a very low public op opinion of public intelligence. If she's so hot, why does she have to resort to Photoshop? With photos like this where she looks like a midget, is it any wonder she can't get anywhere in a Miss Universe contest? Actually, I think she's about 5'7" but I can also attest to her personality, which is brash and vulgar. She loves words like fuck and bitch and has a laugh like a demon from hell. Definitely not a refined lady. Though she may outdo Camilla always at being photogenic, Camilla has a more pleasing public personality. Of course, both Lori and Camilla are like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. They are truly evil and violent women who parade as hot women claiming men drool after them, when in actuality they are so insecure, they feel the only way to get a man is to rape him, relying totally on their bodies as the weapon to get a man, as if that is all you need to land a man. Then they get wicked Jesuit clones of my men to cooperate with their charade and appear with them in public together, where loads of pictures are taken for publicity purposes. They have a terrorist mindset and that they're willing to suffer the pains of pregnancy like a suicide bomber, even when they did not get pregnant with my men through normal sexual relations. Bomb rape is Camilla's forte. Drug rape is Laura Reed's. It is definitely unattractive to rape a man. This disqualifies any woman from entering a beauty contest, let alone placing in one. Even with Photoshop, Lori certainly does not look hot enough to place in a Miss Universe beauty pageant. Personality counts, and she has personality minus. She looks a little heavy in this picture, and she's always boasting about how skinny she is compared to other inferior women, snubbing her nose at me and even her fellow Jesuits like Rule 13, claiming she's so hot that Rule 13 and I can't even come close to her gorgeousness. What a horrible personality she has. Personality counts in a Miss Universe contest, and when every other word that comes out of your mouth is bitch or fuck, etc., your perfect looks seem like a weapon rather than an asset, making you intimidating and unattractive. She degrades older women like me, as inferior to her superior youthful looks and knockout gorgeousness. Jesuits love to call me the old fag. I may be 58, but I look 20s or 30s. Uh, take a look at this picture of Lori McBride. Even all her makeup can't hide her age. This woman is younger than me, but looks older than me now. Since looks is all she has or had past tense, she has nothing else. She must be feeling very insecure right now. Of course, there's always plastic surgery. But excessive plastic surgery disqualifies you from Miss Universe, and plastic surgery will never fix that ugly expression. Even if she had an ounce of inner beauty, she could be beautiful, even at her age. But unfortunately, her heart is like a scorpion, and her eyes look like they're ready to strike. It's no wonder Brent Spiner lives at Church of Gale and has relinquished his Malibu house to her 
She scares the daylights out of him. Jesuits put, put her in sunglasses to hide that wicked gleam always coming out of her eyes. I guess they don't want to make it too obvious how much Photoshop they have to use to soften that aggressive and angry gleam from her eyes, which is her normal expression. Without fo Now take a look at uh, Camilla Alves. Without Photoshop, this woman would not even be admitted to a Miss Universe pageant. I don't wear a lot of makeup usually in my videos, though my men ask me to do it for this because this is like my Miss Universe video. And I've seen Camilla without makeup, and without makeup she looks very average in face. With makeup she's slightly above average in face. Her biggest problem is she has horrible taste in clothes and hair. It's obvious she became a model only because she's a Jesuit and was pampered and spoiled by Jesuits giving her all sorts of favors, even though she's unworthy of being a model or TV host. She's a dramatic clothing personality and dresses herself like a natural, which, is, which absolutely does not work for her. She does her makeup well, but her hair is a disaster. As far as her figure, she used to have a nice bikini body, but now her figure is average. The biggest problem is she totally lacks any womanly, softness or glow and like most Jesuit women she does not she doesn't age well even in her 30s she's starting to look older than her age she's average not outstanding in looks or dress the only area where she's above average is in pride and an overly high opinion of herself as a hot woman this arrogance is written all over her face making her average looks appear dowdy jealous and competitive definitely unattractive qualities. If you disqualify women for plastic surgery and Photoshop, she would be disqualified. In these pictures, she looks dowdy, old, and proud compared to your average Miss Universe contestant. I wouldn't even admit her to a Miss Universe contest. Morgan Brown definitely looks peeved and that she did not place it all in the Miss Universe pageant and that I did, but she's not attractive. I don't get how Jesuit women can have such a high opinion of themselves. Jesuits are claiming my men paid off the Miss Universe pageant to make me place honest. Without Jesuit Photoshop, I don't even think Jesuit women would even be admitted to Miss Universe pageant. I mean, you can only do so much plastic surgery and Photoshop before you're disqualified. She's lacking in overall attractiveness. No womanly glow. Her face looks hard and weathered. Her skin looks tough and old. If she had inner beauty, perhaps these physical weaknesses would not stand out so much. But inner beauty, she has none. Also, her upper body looks anorexic and unhealthy. She's too, she's too skinny to the point of looking unhealthy. That's not sexy. That's why I look better now with some weight on me than I looked in 2011 when my systemic yeast infection made me look almost anorexic. And um, there's a bit link underneath this video, video to show you what I look like now. And, you know, Lori McBride, she loves to start fires. And she's even murdered some people. And she dares to complain that she didn't place in Miss Universe. When did the Miss Universe contest endorse murderers as beautiful? In fact, all Jesuits are murderers. So all Jesuits should be disqualified from Miss Universe. And they don't look nearly as hot as they think they do. So... When these Jesuit women look at a mirror every day and say to themselves, mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? And then you learn that person might be me, Gail Kordschuler, and then you set out to kill me for it. Uh, who's ugly and who's beautiful? Competitive, spiteful women are all ugly, even if they have a perfect figure and a pretty face, albeit Jesuit women wrinkle fast and their eyes look aged quick and because that's what wickedness does to you. Alas, there's always Jesuit plastic surgery to the rescue, but then you still look like a pig wearing royal robes, a fake beauty with no genuine beauty, but only impressions and lies of glamour, where the only true beauty you have is in the vain imaginations of your proud, cold, and jealous heart. It's really sad that these women try to set themselves up as role models for younger women to emulate and 
and they totally emphasize the exterior, totally neglect the interior, and they try to make a woman who doesn't have perfect proportions or a perfect face feel inferior to them. And these women are not as hot as they think they are. Okay, so they're saying, oh, Gail Cordschuler is a 58-year-old fag, and she doesn't deserve to win Miss Universe or to place. I either won it or I got second place. And so they're saying her men just paid the Universe pageant off to place Gail so they can be playboy men and go on the town and not have to marry any of us. And just, no, my dears, they never wanted any of you from day one. Brent Spiner fell in love with me in, um, in 1990. He's been in love with me ever since. Matthew McConaughey fell in love with me in 2005 when he was filming the role of Dor Benabakuk in Silver Skies. He's been in love with me ever since. Um, Gerard Butler fell in love with me about 2007, 2008. And uh, Vladimir Putin came into my life. Um, I, didn't, I did not ask to... Uh, my eyes watering. You know, last night... Oh, I'm telling you. Last night, Zach and I kept me up. <laughs> oh, uh, he, he's making my eyes water right now, that crazy Zach Knight. Last night, Zach Knight kept me up. Goodness. I actually don't wear this much makeup usually, but I, I've got to because my men asked me to. This is my Miss Universe shot. Zach Knight woke me up like every hour with nightmares. He can do that. It's part of his brain control. And so I'm not, I didn't, I only got like four or five hours of sleep. So this is not my best day, but, um, and he's making my eyes water, right? It's all brain control. It just, my mother was a beauty pageant winner and I am not the middle-aged, uh, 58 year old, at, kooky, you know, unattractive crazy like uh, like uh, the Jesuits portray me to be. I'm actually pretty hot. Jesus calls me hot, so. And uh, the marriage list was not my idea. That was Jesus Christ. I, I mean, actually, Jesus Christ approves of the marriage list. So, I, it's not my fault that Brent Spiner fell in love with me. Lori McBride. He never wanted you. He's always wanted me. And when he made love to you in 1992, you tricked him with your brain control drugs so that he thought he was making love to me. People are saying, oh, you're crazy. Don't you know Brett Spiner's married? No, he's not. He's married. Yeah, he's married to me. Um, I've had a relationship with Brent, Brent Spiner since 1990. There's a, there's a really wimpy Brent Spiner clone out there who I wouldn't marry if you paid me to marry him. <laughs> I don't want him. And the Jesuits claim I stalk Brent Spiner. How can I stalk Brent Spiner? I don't live in Los Angeles. I don't even have the money to fly out there. The one who's stalking him is the one who lives out there. That's Lori McBride. Like I said, Brent Spiner's relinquished his Malibu house to her. He's scared to death of her. He lives at Church Gale. So we'll let this video speak for itself.